July 1, 2023. Ukraine war, nine years and five months since the invasion of Crimea. Day 493 of Special Putin's operations. Big picture. Ukraine has continued to make gains around Bakhmut. It appears the Ukrainian attacks at Antonivsky have been completed or called off. The Prime Minister of Spain toured Kiev. Artillery battles in the last 24 hours paid in large numbers of Kremlin losses of equipment. Dnieper line. Recent fighting at the Antonivsky Bridge appears to have concluded with a Ukraine withdrawal. Kremlin mouthpieces claim an esconder was used to destroy Ukrainian positions, leading to a withdrawal and capture. It remains unclear what Ukraine was intending to achieve. Zaporizhia front. Heavy shelling along this front, but only a couple of artillery duels. Russian forces made an attack south of Rivnopil. South of Orokiv, Ukraine has encountered the separate 417 Reconnaissance Battalion and the 45th Special Purpose Brigade. It is unclear at this moment if those are recent Kremlin movements to this line, or simply the result of the first engagements with stationary troops. East Front, Donetsk. The heaviest fighting of the day happened on this front. Kremlin attacks in Marinka and Avdiivka were repelled. At least six artillery duels were reported in Avdiivka. Bakhmut area. Ukraine continued to build on gains south of the city along the canal. Moscow made an attack along the Road of Life. The Kremlin's Wagner 2.0, also known as Shoigest's Storm Z, were moved to the M03 highway. With them are the 60th separate motorized rifle battalion Viterini. Oskol border front. North of the Donets, southwest of Kuzmine, it appears Moscow is still attempting to capture the forests. Again today in Belovarivka Kremlin troops made assault through and out of the southeast side. Kremlin mouthpieces claim that Russian forces are making assaults into Sinkivka north of Kupiansk. Northern border. Kiev Ministry of Defense has suggested to residents in Sumy to leave any residences along the border due to shelling. A Kremlin drone was reported as making grenade attacks on Ukrainian positions in Chernihiv Oblast out of Bryansk Oblast, Russia. Black Sea. The Kremlin has refused to let any new grain vessels join the Black Sea Grain Initiative since Monday, June 26. Floating debris patches in the Black Sea are being discovered full of unexploded ordnance and military gear, bringing acute dangers to fishermen and beachgoers. Ukraine World Related. While not directly related to Ukraine, France and Switzerland are in the throes of violent Islamist riots. As noted, the Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez visited Kiev. Raytheon Corporation is restarting Stinger anti air missile system production, citing a concern for a lack of remaining systems. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.